Okay, so let's talk about the retro TDS hacking incident where the entire game got hacked and then it was banned. So how did this happen? Well, it's pretty much a long story short, but let's go back to 2022. Around 6 July 2022, the owner of the game would pretty much make an announcement. Basically, if you read that message, you'll know that he states his account was compromised by a hacker. And he also tells us to not play Retro TDS at the moment, since there's a chance that the hacker could pretty much uh, reset all of our data. So you're wondering, what did the hacker do to his game? As you see in this image, you can see that the hacker built some inappropriate looking models in the lobby. These are penises by the way. That's not really all that the hacker added. They also added an invisible barrier so you can't get past and play Retro TDS. A sign that says hacked by Zelenka Guru. And also a sign that seems to be like a Russian image. This went on for four days until on 10th July, Retro TDS was put under review. It took four days to, for Roblox to finally respond, but then it wasn't what we expected. We thought they would like help the dude, but they instead took down his game along with his account. I was actually shocked to hear that the game got taken down. So yeah, there was pretty much no more retro TS for now. Around July 11th, we have an announcement from Lord Cat Shit stating what happened to Retro TDS Discord in the game. Hello everyone, you may have noticed some major changes to this Discord. I'd like to return my SM and Oblivion being the owner of Retro TDS. This is because we have decided to take over Retro TDS as Aether was not fit to be the owner. Attached is an image from one of the main devs of the game telling me that Aether basically got the game deleted on purpose. He was trying to run away and he transferred ownership to Oblivion. From now on, stuff will be run differently, staff and admins will be hired fairly, promotions and demotions will be given when earned instead of when Aether feels like it. Our new management will make sure Retro TDS stays updated. It will be rescripted and done to the best it can be. We are so sorry for what has happened to Retro TDS, but this is how it has to be, unfortunately. As of today, all of this is pretty much bullshit now, as pretty much around August 10th, I believe, the old owner of Retro TDS messaged me stating that the hacking was actually real and that his account was actually compromised but pretty much during this time of the deletion of retro tds all we had was the shittiest ones which is like classical defense simulator and the tds archives which was pretty much a shit game considering it was full of bugs fast forward to around august 21st 2022 Aether finally re-released Retro TDS to the public again, and it continues to do well to this day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.